Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Age of Calamity playthrough. Last time, we just started seeing the little guardian egg jump through time. We gathered up Ria Rivali and Mifa onto our team, and the next targets will be Daruk and Urbosa. But first, I guess the, the egg is like, hey, <laughs> your inventory, I guess. Let's see. And yeah, we'll probably want to sell things, especially the high resale value. Clear out the inventories a bit, get some money, and then maybe do some fusion from YouTube chat. Hello, hello, hello. We just began. Healing drop rate, level one. All that good. Hmm. That's interesting. The sale. Ah, that's what it is. I thought the sale value was like the total sale value and not the individual weapons. So I'm just like, I'm clicking it, so why is it not go up? Because that's saying that individual item is worth 238 rupees. Interesting that the ax, which is level one, has a sale value of uh, 216, and the soldier spear with high resell weapon is the same. Maybe they just don't like spears here. Da, 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 da. I love the music in this game. It's so good. Oh, well, no, we got to keep that. That's fusion and material experience. Da, 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 well, I guess that's... Like, so many of those have, like, potential... For, like... Fusing... Da, 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 da. Well, let's see. Anybody else have... I guess just base ones. Mm -hmm. Just get a few extra. Or is it even like that? Let's just see. 50, 100. Or maybe they do combine and some of them are just exceedingly cheap. I don't know. It's like this has 185. So, like, I don't know. I don't know, for some reason, the way it's implemented is throwing my brain off. Or maybe my brain is just not functioning good today. Could be anything. Still love the music. And then I guess we'll use our money to upgrade the bow. Because is good. Special attack damage. Attack speed. Hmm. Although maybe we could be able to... Hmm. Nope. Like, I don't know. I really should read the... Like... What is it called? The thing that's like, hey. Here are the rules of blacksmithing. So I can better understand it. Yeah, I wanted to go back to this screen. <laughs> we will give it like two extra damage. I quickly take a look, glance at it. Look at them having 10,000 rupees in this diagram. 
with all their, like, level 20s being slurped together. How dare. <laughs> At the Blacksmith Guild, you can strengthen a weapon by fusing up other weapons. Begin by selecting a weapon to enhance. And select up to five other weapons. When fusing, the top seals of the material weapons can be passed on to the empty slots of weapon. At that time, which seals are passed on is determined by the order in which the material weapon was chosen. Yeah, I just kind of wish that, like, I knew when that would happen. Maybe it'll tell me. I don't know, with the priority over those from weapons chosen later, so fake. Ah, so material from early weapons are more likely. Ah, empty slots for seals are added at 5, 10, and 20. If a weapon chosen as raw material does not have any seals to pass on, the seal from the next weapon. That makes sense. Very interesting. Gotcha. 5, 10, and 20 are the big hits to hit. So, like, the next level up for you will give one. And we're a few away from you, so we need to, like, plan it. Now that makes sense. I don't think I ever read that before. So we definitely need to select, like, the proper weapon things. There's probably a min-maxing, like seal swap thing that you can do later that probably takes a lot of resources, but did not know that myself. And before we begin, let's see. Explosive hand whip care. What character do I want to do this with? Because it says recommended level of six. Hmm. Explosive hand with care. You know, I we could keep, keep with Mipha. Safe. Let's do Mipha. Because we'll probably want to be keeping to Link and Rivali, since Link is a nice baseline character, and Rivali is my favorite. So he will be in everything. So when it comes to these side quests, I should really take the time to use other characters who aren't, <laughs> like, going to be used as much as much. Quests. That's exactly what we're doing. Explosive hand with care. <laughs> Use bomb barrels. That's interesting. <laughs> I leveled up, so it didn't matter as much. Very interesting. Yeah, her bomb is actually really cool. <laughs> One minor problem of the, like, these bombs is they're kind of spread all over the place, so I'll accidentally activate them. Get blocked, idiot. Oh, I almost got you all the way. Well, I feel like that should have been a flurry rush. How dare you? Well, that's going to explode, isn't it? That did not explode. Interesting. Kaboom! Huh. Apparently, activating the explosive caused a fire, which caused it to break. Very cool. The real question is, how did these, like, uh, like, uh, like, I'm, I keep forgetting that she has, like, a special, like, a, but of a, a stance thing that pops up whenever I freeze an enemy in time. It is done. But I wonder how these, like, skull caverns just show up, or even if they do show up. Were they carved out by the Bacoblins? Oh, there is a thing down this way. Defeat the Breach of Devise monsters. You come to me. Explosions. 
go ahead and activate this. I don't think we've seen this. Or have we? I, I have no idea what that did. I honestly have no idea what her, like, special attack did. Gone. Ba -da -da -dum. And we got more mobbling guts. I'll need to remember to keep an eye on what characters say during story missions. Since those can pass me by if I'm not keenly aware. And we got a new rugged rhino beetle. Which is basically going to go directly into one of those quest locations. They're like, we demand this. And like, five... Uh, like, three separate beetle types with five each. Da, 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 da. Interestingly, I don't think that these side quests have, like, story to them. It's only, like, these upgrade ones, which is kind of kind of interesting. Like, for a bonus combo, here's, like, a small little paragraph telling a story. An actual thing where you kill some monsters? <laughs> Not a thing. That's actually kind of interesting if you think about it. Or at least interesting to me. And we still need a bit more... A bit more beetles. But it doesn't look like there's anything else to do on the map, so let us go to Daruk, the Goron hero. We are vastly overleveled for this. In fact, let's come down here. How? What level do you recommend? And also level five. Meanwhile, this recommended level six. So, eh. Let's -a go. Link, of course. But let's throw in Rivali because he is the boy, and the boy shall be played. Meanwhile, we have our slight abomination, Link. What should we make? Movement speed, experience. Honestly, probably experience. Be mm, but should I? I mean, there doesn't seem to be anything else that would really be important. This is a level 5 story quest. So enemies aren't going to really damage us all that much. 5% extra damage isn't going to help us much. So yeah, let's get some experience. From YouTube chat. Hello, hello, hello. We are flying off to Goron land. So, King Rome, what's the story? The Gorons lived in Goron City, a town carved into Death Mountain. They were forged in volcanic heat, their bodies as hard as stone. Daru. A brave Goron, whose power of protection could repel the mightiest of blows, was deemed the best candidate to pilot divine beast Va Rudanya. Rudanya. The princess and her entourage venture to Goron City in hopes of securing Daruk's cooperation. <laughs> they probably spent a fortune in fire elixirs so they wouldn't catch on fire. <laughs> I've always liked the little, like, fire what particulates you me is that I never refuse a sincere flying through the air. So, of course, I'm on board with your plan. Daruk Goron Stalwart. Hmm. Except there is one problem. And what's that? Huh? What's the troubles? Well, it's just Varudania is in a difficult spot right now. Is it surrounded by monsters? The beast was found pretty high up on Death Mountain. A lot of monsters have been crawling around lately. So even getting close to Old Rodania is a big pain. Interesting. Ugh. Only the bravest go up there now. And you're one of the bravest. So that's oh. why it's a good thing it's going to be us! <laughs> oh, um, of course. Come on! Death Mountain won't climb itself. <laughs> oh. I like that my Link actually has the weapons and outfit I put him in. I appreciate that. Okay. 
No, we've got to do is get climbing. Backups should be on the way soon. Lord Daruk, monsters are on the attack. Moblins invaded the southern mine. I always think that's going to be the, the the map button, but it never is. Do you know when the next live stream will be? Should be Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Alright, so we definitely want to go this way. Presumably. Seems to be kind of a loop of a, a map. Huh, I wonder why that's X'd out. Let's try and get everybody to follow Link. If I just go down that way. Monsters! Guess when that means our backup is backed up. Looks like our climb's delayed. Get rocked. What? Your fun is over, monster breath. The great Daruk is on the job. Oh, my dash actually does damage. Kind of makes sense that, like, a Goron feels like a wee bit clunky to dodge with. There we go. Get smacked, Moblin. Although, I guess since I swapped to Daruk, nobody else is following. <laughs> oh yeah, what's his... Ah, so I can, like, summon the lava spike. And then from there I can hit his special ability to cause explosions. No one rampages as well as you, Daruk. Also, I should probably be careful. I'm already low on health for Daruk. The hero of Hyrule is here to smack you. Although, he's not really the hero of Hyrule yet because he hasn't pulled the sword yet. He's just the chosen knight of the princess. Is a way. More company? Fine by me. Let's split up and drive the monsters back! Except for you, because then you die. And we don't want you dying. Oh, now magma bombs has spawned. That's dangerous. Get bombed. Go along this way, clear out this path. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I hit the trigger instead of the bumper for capturing its metal throwing. Get bombed. Oh, I do need to learn proper, like, good combos characters, though. Nope. 
and be gone. Still interesting that, like, these are the face more like... What are they called? The... More like Zora's Domain Lizalfos, and not the lava ones. So just kind of funny to see water spitting lizards being like, yes, we belong in Lava Land. I just love how nicely Rivoli cleans up all these guys. Very satisfying. Watch a Oh, that's very rude. Nice Rockman. I thought they were just normal rocks. My mistake. Take this. And bombs. Big on. There's another, like, big ol' big ol' captain-ish monster up ahead. We'll take care of them, but first we're gonna come up here because, who knows, it could be a thing. I mean, this place has to exist for a reason. Ah, because there is always reason. Ten amaranths. That's nice. Things always exist for reasons. Whoop. Cool down. <laughs> Get blocked. Oh, I actually did that. That was a complete accident. Goodbye. Twitch chat, the rook spinning around like Sonic, indeed. How are we doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. Brain was a little mean today, but that's just life to a degree. The rook. I'm on. Otherwise, mostly fine. I asked for that, didn't I? Here I am using a wooden sword against you. Keep going right in the midair when it starts to throw at me. Although, I could probably just use an ice wand on him and it probably would work well. But who needs strategy when we just got smiting? Ah, here's the lava based Lizalfos. And another construct. When you first played, did you have all the characters? And if you did, what was your favorite? That was a long time ago, but I do believe it was... Rivali was my favorite. One part bias, one part... He's just very satisfying to use to snipe enemies from far away. Ah, some hardy bass, but only nine for some reason. Interesting. Also interesting that... Oh, no, he is following. Just very slowly, which good because he has no health. Because I suck. <laughs> I mean, we're already on Death Mountain, so. Hey, will you fuck off? We're already on Death Mountain, so I should be. hopped up on Fire Elixir. How dare you hit me through my Fire Elixir, monsters? Oh, hey, they're, they're just invading Goron Town. That's mean. Well, Goron City, but it's not really a city. Go ahead and send him up there to fight the Fire Moblin. I was expecting to do the three, <laughs> three hit. You're finished. Now 
slowly pick them apart. Goodbye. There, Korok. Yaha, yeah, indeed. Let's see. Move along. Let's clear out this open world area a bit. Just in case. Let's move this way. Capture all the outposts. Ah, this is where the fire bombs are. We always, <laughs> always do these because they hold things. And watch this be one without a chest at the top. Nope, it has it. Because game is kind. Armored carp, but nine this time, or a ten this time, rather than just nine. And we move along. And the music here, also really good. <laughs> Hasn't, like, stood out as much as, like, Zora's Domain or, uh... Rito Village? Well, that's very rude. How dare you. Oh, that's what it is. He's doing the, like, fire weapon with just a normal thing because he's a fire moblin, which makes sense. Makes sense that he should be able to send out weapon fires. Without a fire weapon, he's made of fire ever so slightly. I just wondering, it's like, where's the projectiles coming from? Fully well, makes sense. Now quit sniping me. Even here in Hyrule Warriors, they kick my ass. We'll send you up there and go back to Link. Down ever so slightly. Dang it. One of these days I'll get good at flurry rushes. One day. Let's see if we can find a way out here. kind of like that these things still keep their dangerousness. Darn it, Octorok, stop! Cease! <laughs> Your sniping duties. At least they're in the right location. Guess I'll keep Link here, because I think there will probably be a thing. I will just go ahead and do this. You stand a chance. Be still. You're finished. Get smacked. <laughs> He's precisely in the right place. And Rivali can stay there. Alright, this is probably the most mini taluses I've ever seen in a single place. Jesus. The first will come this way because they're just standing here. How dare you just stand here. There's obviously going to be more, so we'll keep uh, 
Revali down there. Hello, Igneo Talus. I wonder what happened if I hit you with a frost wand. Are you? Oh, obviously you're not. I was going to say, oh, ooh, perchance are you the Igneo Talus Titan from the Champions Ballad, but. Oh, no, uh, no, no, you're not. Let's see. Where. Which button is it? This one. Smack. Only half your health, but. <laughs> okay, it is kind of cute that they're keeping the normal talus. Oh, they're keeping the music too. But also the. Oh, but I've never seen a talus jump! Well, that's exceedingly illegal! See, uh, <laughs> I'll heal a little bit. Never seen an egg, any talus just leap a building into the air. Kill him. Oh, you're probably gonna drop some chests too, so. Gib. Hey, even though, like, the music for this place is a bit more low key, it's still really good. It just doesn't, like, super duper, like, stand out to me. Now you can actually go over there, stop them. What? More monsters? But we came all the way here! Looks like we'll have to go back and help out! I do think these guys are a little annoying. <laughs> like, ah, we're just gonna spew a wall of fire at you. We can't keep relying on Lord Deluke to save us all the time. Let's do our best to save ourselves. Almost have a full weak point combo for five, well, moblins in general, I guess. Guess I'll send him just down here to fight to that guy. Darn it. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Get blasted. We'll go down and protect those. Outposts. Going as fast as Flyboy can fly. Funnily, I think one of the Fire Moblins spawned here. Let's go ahead and get rid of you so you will never be alone. Rambling, I managed to get a a flurry blow. Get another victory. Let's see, where's the other one? Oh, it's actually in here and here. Uh, excuse me, I'll just do this. You stand a chance. Be still. Behold, 
Get out of here. <laughs> Didn't even need to hit your weak point. Guess you can go follow him. It seems like he killed the moblin on his own, so go after that moblin. And then you can follow after Link. Oh no, he's still here. Be gone. He was just covered by Link's icon. Hot springs. Good time to rest our weary bones. We have a ways to go. So how about a break? Well, we do don't. Uh, we do uh, no longer have to worry about the like other places like falling. So since we obliterated them. Ah, great. Keys. Get out of here. Be gone. I had enough troubles a few keys in Breath of the Wild. And this entire, like, Age of Calamity is right. There's so many just normal enemies out and about. For a moment, I thought I was like, what was that? Ah, it's just minecarts. Hello, Moblin. How dare you hit me in the air with a hammer. There's no such thing as anti-air hammer. There we go. Goodbye. And we'll come in here because items. Quit worshipping that. And start worshipping the virtual boy. Your true god. Alright, since we're just right up here, we'll jump back down to Rivali so we can get up there and have the whole team blast whatever it is up there. Da da da! But it is very interesting, the slight difference between the various play- like, location music. As Rito Village and Zora's Domain felt, like, really bombastic and, like, surrounding you. Whereas here, it's almost slightly a bit more, like, background music. Still really good, but it doesn't leap out to me as much. We'll have to get rid of those monsters before we can lower the bridges. All right, everybody. And you can follow Link. Lower the bridge into the foothills. Be still. Blast you. Blast you. How could you bit off more than you could chew? There are literally no monsters down there. I killed them. How can you struggle in battle? There's no battle down there. There's not even, like, enemy markers. Oh. My favorite weak point breaker combo. And now, oh, he's just gonna roll himself up there. He doesn't even need a cannon. I do like that they keep that in. That's just been a thing of the Goron since time immemorial. But there is still the cannon there, which is nice. Da 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 da. Oh, hello there, Korok. I genuinely forget what the Korok seeds even do. 
no idea how uh, arrows are taking on rock, but fear the power of bow and arrow. For a moment there, I thought that was going to be a, a Lionel. How about you take bombs? Oh, and I just brought down that, so... Rip any treasure that was up there. <laughs> Unless it was up there and it just fell and technically everyone died, so I got it. so we can quickly get you out of the way. Also, I just kind of realized the stasis rune is so much more powerful here, too. Keeps these guys stasis forever. Look at that. Look at that. The gang's all here. Let's combine our forces and punch our way through. Well, actually, I'm just gonna blast you with this. Take this. And then we'll take care of the Igneo Talus when you're gone. Too easy. You and your freaky teeth. get up on top of this, even if I do become on fire. Doesn't mean I can't really dodge, though, because <laughs> then I just jump off. Oh, yeah. You are a big help, Link. You're really starting to grow on me. <laughs> you're the kind of fella I can really count on, but your appetite is as mighty as your blade, too. That tears it, Link. From today, you're my go-to little guy. I'm counting on you is what I'm saying. I also really like how different each of the hero missions have been so far. The Rito Village was because they were kind of isolated and became paranoid due to raids from monsters and a mysterious guardian. The Zora were invaded as we were there. The Gorons, they're just like, oh yeah, there's just a bunch of monsters up on Death Mountain right now. <laughs> you want to go? Let's go. I forget how, what it is for, uh... Down in the Gerudo, like, desert, though. Oh. Ah, we got one of these, which is something we're looking for. And Goron Spice. And Flame Breaker Armor. Herb Saute, perfect dodge timing window, plus 5%. I feel like there's kind of multiple recipes that kind of do the same thing. Kind of like the Breath of the Wild itself. From YouTube chat. Hi, hello, hello. We are venturing forth through Age of Calamity, and it is a lot of fun. We just got Daruk. Since we blasted our way through the monsters. Just, well, I guess we're still going because, uh, cutscene. It's even bigger than I remembered. How do they excavate if it's just in the volcano? <laughs> Let's get right to it then. Ooh, I can't wait. Oh, are we actually going to pilot it to get it out of here? Oh, looks like it is Divine Beast time. <laughs> It's like a horror movie, but for the monsters. The 
Divine Beasts look so awesome. From YouTube chat? Hello! Hello, hello. Now we're piloting the Divine Beast, Rudania. Although, come to think of it, this, like, uh... Probably isn't the safest Divine Beast to pilot, considering the controls are just on the back. But I guess the same could be said for Valmetto. Turn run wild, Virudania, that is, um, if I can figure out how you work. I need to remember, characters talk while gameplay happens in this game. Oh, you can do all that, huh? Let's give it a whirl. I forget. All right, that's cool. No idea it was a uh, danger to me, but we took it out. Blast them all! I do like that there's just like small destructible areas. Some floaty guys too. Let's send them flying along with the rest. Where are the floaty guys? Or did I already miss them? Okay, I think I've got the hang of control in this divine beast now. A bunch more are heading our way. I'll be stuck here forever if I pick them off one by one. One by one, we are taking them out by the hundreds in single attacks. Well, those are the floaty guys. Was that a Hinox that I just blasted? Oh no, it's an Igneo Talus. Get out of here. Are you dead? Well, let's just smack you then. Get out of here. Igneo Talus. Let's see. We'll last you up this. Then again, you are like made of lava. Lava rock, so maybe I do need to physically smash you. Let's do it. Nobody can stop Faru Danya and the Great Daruk. Since there were two Igneo Taluses, figured I'd do that. And I missed the other ones that were further down. Yeah, keep knocking them down and we'll get up close and smack them. Get out of here, floaty guys. Man, Death Mountain has a lot of monsters. Then again, so did Sora's Domain, but that was an invasion. Oh, it's a shit ton of Igneo Taluses. The question is why. A big group of them showed up. <laughs> Good thing they're no match for Roll Rutania. Take this. Now this is probably where they intended you to use the like special beam. I guess I used it early. Get out of here. And that takes care of that. I'm really getting the hang of this. How the hell did the Calamity send an army of Igneo Taluses? That's my question. I think that was more Igneo Taluses than I saw Taluses at all in Breath of the Wild. From YouTube chat. So, Neon, I have joined uh, Team Present and participated in Splatoon 3's Grand Festival. So far, I really enjoyed it. From what I heard, or like what I saw, it, is, it does seem like a really cool event they're putting on. The Splatoon devs just seem to like, really have down throw in a good old party in a game. <laughs> that 
was unexpected, but we pulled through in the end. You really proved yourself, hey, little guy? <laughs> now, about me piloting Rutania. Well, go ahead and count the mighty Daruk in. Oh, thank you, Daruk. <laughs> Of I mean, course. we did lead him to we'll the beast uh, pilot so that he could kind of <laughs> prune the monsters around Death Mountain. Oh, wait a minute. You must be starving after all that fighting. I know just the cure for that. Rocks. <laughs> My favorite. Prime rock rope. It just looks like lava on a stick. <laughs> Doesn't it look or like delicious. lava on a rock. Why don't you dig in, little guy? <laughs> How? Link is immortal. He's eating lava. How thoughtless of me. I should have brought some for you, tiny And he's just keep he's keeping Next going. Time, I promise to bring enough for everyone. Uh, thank you very much. Well, I guess it's just canon. Breath of the Wild Link can just eat anything. He can even eat rocks. Da 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 Daruk, Goron Stalot. A Goron warrior who possesses the power to deflect attacks. He cares deeply for his fellow Gorons. Now he is entrusted with piloting divine beast Varudanya. Da 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 da. First, we gotta read because I really like the little storylines of these. A young Goron has achieved his dreams and opened a shop, but he wants a sign that's special, like made with stones that are special. Any idea what he might need? A stone pebblet trophy and an ethereal stone. Bravo! Superb! Using the rare stones you got, the Goron made a sign with the name of his shop, Royo Royo Depot. I like that. I like that. That flows well. That really fired him up with opening his place. Visit the shop any time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yourself. Da, da. All right, we have a decent amount of things wow. here, so... Don't have to worry about it. <laughs> From YouTube chat, casually munching rocks. That's Link for you. If there's food, nothing to- Oh, we can buy one more thing and get that. Yeah, yeah well, that's Link for you. He mm. will eat anything. Oh, but first we gotta read. Hoping for heat relief. A stable master has asked you to get supplies to help his customers. These travelers struggle in the heat of the Elden region. What can you find that will give them relief? Lizalfos trophies, Moblin trophies, and fireproof lizards. After you gave the stable master the fire resistant supplies, he passed them along to his customers. As a result, word spread of his kindness, and now his stable is very popular. Yeah. Well, we have none of you, so we should pick up all of them, especially since they're only a hundred. Pick up uh, all of these. Stop saying ooh! Ah! Well, let's see. Tatino Dye Shop. Where we only needed one thing. Dying to make contact. The dyeing shop can't get hold of its main supplier, a merchant of dyes. You found someone who knows how to make contact, but he said he wants a gemstone in return. Beautiful work. After you handed over the gemstone, the informer was revealed to be the dye merchant himself. Sounds like a needless runaround to you, but at least the dyeing shop has restocked. Dye shop. You can visit the dye shop to change the color of your attire, but be aware of the nominal cost. The dye shop owner needs to eat too. Hey! Hey! So you don't change in a hundred years either. Let's look at his price list. 
Interesting. So different ones have different costs, which kind of makes sense, and it's kind of neat. So, like, what does this change the color of? Yeah, kind of what I expected. Still neat. What about the snow cool pants? Oh, that's neat. It kind of resembles Teba. Da, 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 da. We'll definitely have to check that out at a later time. Hey. Hey. Da, 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 da. Do you have any more fireproof lizards? I'll mm. take them all. Since I need them for Daruk's stuff. A battle against the heat. Daruk is going to lead a class of aspiring climbers on a journey to the top of Death Mountain. Pack some heat-resistant materials so that nobody gets cooked. <laughs> With plenty of fire-resistant materials to go around, the mountain climbing class went off without a hitch. As an added bonus, Daruk thought of a new move while the training was underway. I definitely need to learn more combos of these characters. A famed sculptor is taking his first ever trip to Goron City, and he would like to donate a wood carving. However, he will need some fire-resistant coating to ensure it does not burn in Elden's heat. Have him! I'm gonna smear this lizard on it! After a liberal coating of fireproof materials, the unique sculpture was finally complete. The figure, defying even Death Mountain's flames, truly captured the hearts of the Gorons. And then we get a heart for it. You jolly jokester. You jokes! You. Da, 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 da. Go ahead and level it up slightly. And since it's just a simple one, we won't level Daruk up. But then again, maybe we should shoot me should, because I kind of suck. Uh, we'll just get him to level 10 and hope that's enough. Da -da. Restricted allies and time limited. Let's deal more damage. And let's go! Time to teleport, Daruk! Into the sky! We gotta go to an alternate universe to kill some monsters and bring stuff back. Interdimensional imperialism. But it doesn't matter because we're doing it to monsters. Do -do -do -do. And there's Daruk added to the loading screen. <laughs> oh yeah, let's do this! I wonder how much fun the voice actors had to, like, reprise all their characters and actually, like, do stuff. I can taunt the enemy. I don't even need to summon big old blocks to explode. Let's see. One, two, three. Summons you. One, two. Summons that, that I can then explode. One. Timing my combos will take a bit. Is it any wonder why I suck at fighting games? To dodge an explosion to the face. Now, where'd that moblin come from? I'll kill him.
How about you just die? Thunderclap! Get out of here. I taunt the enemy. I like how characters seem to have, like, rush, like, just attacks that I can just do while rushing. Doesn't seem to do a lot of damage, but that is amusing. Feels like we're very low on enemies to kill. Or maybe I just killed enemies very quickly. Yeah, half the time limit remains. I'm almost done, but they're just spread out in this little mini minimis. Ah, oh, there you are. It's Boom! And a big enemy gonna spawn in? Yep, some moblins. Well, a moblin. Oh, about no! How dare you? I'm just gonna smack you around. Explode! We kill the moblins. Booyah! And we got more enemies. Oh, not enemies, weapons. Where do the enemies come from? My brain. From YouTube chat, Sonyan, did you know about Splatfest had different seasonal and festive themes throughout Splatoon's history, like Easter, Spring, Summer Holiday, Hol Halloween, and Christmas Holidays? I don't think so. I knew that they had, like, many different Splatfests across each game's lifespan. But I didn't know, no, that they did, like, uh, specific holidays. But I guess it kind of makes sense that they would do that. Kind of gives them excuse to do something. Oh, it's a time of year that people know. Here's the thing. Goron warriors have invented a dangerous new pastime. Plain hot potato with a ball of red choo-choo jelly. Would you mind collecting some of the fiery material for him? Not only do I need the choo-choo jelly, I need the trophies too. Tossing around the ball of red choo-choo jelly, the Gorons really built up their stamina. Even the great Daruk joined in, and after playing a few rounds, he thought up of a new move. Alright, so a one, two, three, four, five. So I have five strong attacks I need to really do, so like... One, two, one, two, three, and then I can double tap that. I need to keep that in mind. Ah, oh, we can do this one. At an end to fighting, May Branch Co-op opens. Better not actually be co-op, because I don't have anybody to co-op with. A farming co-op should cooperate, but instead of the farmers here and there are arguing about water. What they need is a good irrigation canal. Pay Gorons to build them one. Oh, it's gonna take so much money. Bravo. Superb. When the farmers saw the new irrigation canal, they stopped arguing and came together as a co-op again. They've been inspired to open a shop to sell their goods too. Oh! You got a token of gratitude from the people of Central Hyrule. Ba ba ba. Oh, we can buy a thing that we've been missing out on. Which means we can activate this! The owner of a shop is tired of seeing white snow everywhere. It's just so dreary. She wants to liven things up by selling colorful goods. Find some things that will help. Beautiful work. The goods you brought really brightened up the shop and lifted the owner's spirits, too. Her shop's snowy feathers is more like a colorful peacock now. 
come back any time. Yeah. Oh. Now we just have access to many different things. Oh. <laughs> like frickin' 1,000 rupee sapphires. Nightmare. Oh. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Maybe we'll take a look. Ba, da, 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 da. Guess I'll have that marked just in case. Oh, <laughs> one of the uh, open of things is right there. Apparently, to do mastering stasis. Ah, but we should do this one since we have the resources for it. Impa promised to play with the Sheikah children on their upcoming rest day. The kids spend nearly all their time training. She'd like to spoil them a bit with some sweet treats. And Bacoblin trophies, I guess. I knew I could do it. Impa and the young Sheikah all savored a long, lazy day, lounging around and stuffing their faces with sweets. Soon they'd be back at work, but in the meantime, it was nice to relax a bit. More hearts! And from YouTube chat, hi, hello, hello. We're just managing the, like, open world bit before going on to the Gerudo Desert. Let's see. Definitely need to sell some things here. Try to sell... Mostly just to clear his inventory a bit. Da, 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 da. Guess we could sell that. Mm. Gotta manage our inventories. Actually, I should just use the bumpers for this. <laughs> this game is pretty fun. It definitely is. It's really good. Like, I love the music, the characters, the story. Like, I forgot I could do that. Just go on autopilot. Mm -hmm. And I also love how, like, the menu aspect. Just, like, mm -hmm. everything you do is just on the overworld map. And I just, that's that feels clever. It just feels nice. Right, let's see. Because we want to get to mm -hmm. level 10 to <laughs> give him a new emblem. At some point, at least. From YouTube chat, my favorite seasonal Splatfest is Splatween. From Splat 3 Halloween themed, the three team options in this event were zombies versus skeleton versus ghosts. Last year, I joined Team Ghost in at one. That's fun. Splatoon definitely feels like a very engaging, but not like exploitative, like live service game. Because it's more just like, hey, you buy the game, you have fun with the game. It's all good. Ooh, I right, suppose need... you can have a go. I'm gonna put that on before I forget. From your chat, have you played Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom? I've uh, only recently beat all the way through Breath of the Wild for the first time. I had, like, started and stopped it a few times, but I streamed my way through all of it. And I'm currently uploading those videos. And I decided that I'd play Age of Calamity, since it's been a long time and I really like this game. And then, at some point in the near future, we're definitely going to do Tears of the Kingdom. Now, let's see... This one's level 9, Anti-Flame. How about we do another Daruk Anti-Flame? And then we'll do either Link or Rivali on the Stasis Training. Let's-a-go! 
Remote bombs. Not really remote in this one. They just activate. Although I guess it would be kind of crazy to try and program in. You summon a bomb. You place a bomb. And then you walk away. And then you activate it. How'd that hit me? How dare you? There we go, finally got a flurry rush off of Daruk. Surrounded enemies, how dare. Get out of here. I have your minions to kill. Because they keep spitting at me. because we got to defeat these whiz robes. Let's see if we just do this. Smack them all. <laughs> okay, didn't expect them to be the end. But they were. From YouTube chat, Revali is my fave from Breath. Revali is super good. Like, especially from, like, the Ballad of the Champions... Just like he like I'm biased because bird character is cool. But he also is kind of fun because he stands out a bit more to some degree. Like Mifa has like also it's interesting because he has to kind of like half his own like dynamic compared to the others. Daruk is the big strong guy. Mifa is a potential love interest for Link, but kind of like forgotten because of amnesia. Orbosa is neat. In her own right, so just like, they're like, how do we make the bird interesting? Let's make him kind of an asshole. You have a lot but in my opinion, fight. he's earned that. He's earned being a jerk. Into stasis time. It also helps that the Rito are just s so well designed in Breath of the Wild. I do not think I would have liked the Rito as much if they really took after the Wind Waker designs. Because, like, the Wind Waker ones are fine, but the Breath of the Wild ones just look so much, like, cooler, in my opinion. Yeah, go ahead. Be still. Get smacked, Bacoblin. Say goodbye. My way. Oh, anything but bugs is activated. <laughs> no, you don't. I outrange you. Idiot. You fools. I wonder why they throw their clubs. I don't know. It just seems interesting to me. Clubs aren't really a throw thing. Like, you can't even put, like, a rock in it. Make it kind of like an axe. Be still and die. Be gone with bomb. Let me destroy you. You don't stand a chance. Be still. <laughs> Let's use all the stasis. Goodbye. Fantastic. From you 
YouTube chat from Tears, my fave is Tulin. He also has the best sage power. Yeah, because from the a few of the like very out of context like clips I saw when Tears first came out, I did see like special NPCs that are like ghostly glowing and following Link. So I guess neat that again. <laughs> also neat at least more Rito respect, which is always good. I really can't wait to get to it, because I, I have, like, so little knowledge about Tears of the Kingdom. I hardly know anything at all. And from YouTube chat, from the Splatoon and results, it means objectively that ghosts are the best Halloween monster, at least amongst the Splatoon fanbase. Now I wonder what it would be like if other video games had, like, Splatfest oh. things. Like, you choose a faction and winning, like, matches in the game mode progresses the poll, and I forgot to read the diddly dee thing, I'm a fool. The stable master's child was so happy with the insects that she ran up to her father with the bugs scooped in her hands. The birthday was a success, but the father may never be the same. Da da da. Let's see. Yeah. The various buyables. Oh. Kind of restock on things that we're a oh. bit low on. Oh. Oh. Because we can. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to see if... Hi. Then again, I don't even know if selling things is good in this game or not. That's advisable. Ah. My god, you're expensive. Uh -huh. Yeah. Da da da. Da 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 da. da. I love the music. So good. Da, 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 da. Yeah. This guy is all fish all the time. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we need need ah. anything from there. There doesn't seem to be anything else, so we move along to Urbosa, the Gerudo chief. YouTube chat. Today I just beat Tears of the Kingdom. Huzzah! Really can't wait to get to it myself. I guess I'll put down the experience. And so Orbosa can try and get a bit of experience in her debut mission. The Gerudo lived in a settlement in the Gerudo Desert. Comprised entirely of women, they were a tribe of great might and nobility. For her exceptional strength and her ability to harness lightning, Urbosa, Where chief did she of the get Gerudo, the ability to harness was lightning? Was the clear choice to pilot divine beast Va Naboris. Zelda knew Urbosa thanks to her close relationship with the late Queen of Hyrule. Oh, that's nice. They're putting that in from the ballad. With her party in tow, Zelda traveled to Gerudo Town to speak with her old friend. However, their journey took an unexpected turn. Let us see that turn. <laughs> She's carrying the little egg guardian. The Gerudo have returned to Ocarina of Time times. They kill everyone now. But why? Why are the Gerudo attacking us? Desert madness. Urbosa. You have a guy with you, obviously. We'll surely be able to explain everything if we can reach her. So, like, the Rito attack us on sight. <laughs> the Gerudo attack us on sight. We have to save the 
Zora. Oop. You have a combo. Be gone, Gerudo Captain. You see, the princess wishes to seize the land from under our feet. Stop her in her tracks. Well, that's not good. Advancing directly on the town will be difficult. Let's go around the south side. Well, let's see. I'm gonna go and get that outpost. After we come up here. Kill this guy. Warriors, do not falter. Take Zelda down, and Impa. Why are you fighting this guy? He's a nothing. He's a nothing lightning boy. Although I guess kind of makes sense there's a lightning boy out here. <laughs> or Bosa with her lightning powers. Get bombed. I don't even need to weak spot you. Be gone. And well, since this is just a place in a place, let's do it. Smash up the places for. Oh, I thought I could destroy those. Some boxes, yes, some boxes, no. How dare you follow us around this desert? Be gone. Perfect, they've taken the bait. Now attack! I think you're the ones that have taken the bait, because we'll just destroy you. you stand a, chance. a trap? Then they simply pretend to be vulnerable. What does Orbosa think she's doing? Be still. And get blasted. Get destroyed. We fought for all our strength and lost. Well met. Goodbye, Spear Guardian. Why, you dithering, you fools? I ordered you to defeat the princess. Do it already! Lady Orbosa, all right? She's acting rather unlike herself. To me. The gates are open, everyone, to Gerudo Town! By the power of wind, be obliterated. I do like how they've, like turned the areas of like Breath of the Wild into Hyrule Warriors maps. They just really, really fit. Big off. Oh, and now we kind of zoomed in the map. Although now I kind of feel terroristy because I'm rampaging through their town. Cutscene time. Urbosa, Gerudo Tempest. Urbosa! <laughs> doing <laughs> thwarting your destiny of course <laughs> oh, I think she even has the Zelda. like sword of the seven I think <laughs> lightning power <laughs> lol I came back as quickly as I could where were you <laughs> the other crew are like, what's going on? Exactly what I expected to find. 
Athosa? I hope you're not hurt, little bird. <laughs> Huzzah. I'm not. Oh, Bosa, Gerudo Tiffus. <laughs> okay, that's cool. They introduced the fake, and now they introduced the real. <laughs> You've got some nerve thinking you can go toe to toe with. <laughs> Urbosa Koga. question mark. Master Koga, top banana of the Yiga class. Show you. <laughs> Me excluded, of course. <laughs> Weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> Even Impo's like, what's going on? Time for Yiga destruction. Oh, we can play as... Yeah, I almost forgot. But before that, we need to set up my follow-around rules because Link follows Rivali... Volley can follow. No, no, no. Where are Where are you? There you are. So I can play whoever I want, and everyone should follow everyone. Ooh, she has a si uh, her own system. How many Yiga? How big is the Yiga clan in this world? Allow me to help. I am the reason you walked into this mess, of course. But Bosa's, it's heartening to hear you, have you by our side. Now let's push back the Yiga clan. Time to spin to win. Get out of here, Blade Master. No, not like this. I heard another, like, use room to counter sound effect. But I didn't see anything. Ah, it's because you're right over here. I'm stuck in the corner. Rude. Wave your hands around. Oh, I can do just a whole thing if I have enough of them. Get out of here. Dance around the Blade Master. Be gone. Get out of here. The town is secured, but the Yiga clan are still an impending threat. There is a beast in the north of uh, that will keep them busy if we can lure it out of hiding. Get out of here, Yiga clan. Then off to the north we go. And here's where all the monsters are hiding. Just fly along. When it comes to health bar, guys, best to do it on... Ow. You need to learn your <laughs> attack timing. Oh, I love it so much. Get 
another thing. That is my favorite weak point destruction combo. Be still and die. I have no idea what you even do if I let you go through with this. But we won't. You'll just die. You know, if you all hide together, it kind of makes it obvious that you're monsters. <laughs> Silly Lizolfos. Of course. It is sensitive to noise, so if the sound of battle ring loud enough, then perhaps. Defeat the enemies with a loud attack. How about bombs? Exactly what I need to do. That should be loud enough to stir the creature. Come on, make a racket. What about my bomb arrows? Surely that should count. Good god, there's so many just a Yika clan about. Very rude to smack with a big sword. Here comes the Melduga. We weaponize the trimmers. Teleport away now, fool. <laughs> ah! Melduga! <laughs> you get ran away in terror. There's probably like a secret if I kill Melduga, but I'm probably woefully unlevel for it. I almost pity the Yiga scum. Protect your chief, you Nimrods! Or do you want me to croak? The enemy is losing momentum. We must encircle them now. This is just a big Giga. Ah, with sickle and bow. I think I missed. Darn. Of course, we get mighty bananas from them. They just carry bananas with them into combat. Why are the Bacoblins holding a cannon position? Or did they overrun people that were holding a cannon position? Yeah, get out of here, rock guys. I saw you a mile away. Take this! Glory rush time! Give me all your mighty bananas. I still find it kind of funny that, like, the Yiga clan seem almost more like Shika ninjutsu powered than the actual Shika. I still think that the Yiga clan should have been more technology based. Primarily due to, like, their lore. Well, that's weird. <laughs> Not all the enemies were being hit there. They were ghosts. Because, like, the Yiga specifically split off from the Shika because they felt betrayed by Hyrule. They were like, oh no, the Sheikah, they have technology on their side, and that's scary. Watch and learn. So, they kind of exiled the Sheikah, or like, the Sheikah like, gave up the technology to stick in. You? Looks like I have no choice but to wreck you myself! 
The enemy has opened the gates. Time to stamp out these Yiga pests. But yeah, the, the Yiga split off of the Shika because of the mistreatment from Hyrule. And how, like, uh, the Shika stopped using technology to placate them, so you'd think that the Yiga would use technology because they're like, ah, oh, we're not gonna stop. We're just gonna go away and do our own thing. Although I guess the remaining Chica could have just, like, locked away the technology. But I don't know, just like... I feel like Chica technology could have been incorporated a bit more. Hello, Master Koga. Cool down. I had a watertight plan and you, you sank it! And I'm going to make you regret that. You're already moving a lot more than you did in your... Like... <laughs> Breath of the Wild boss fight. Then again, if you're the... Like, are you the same, Master Koga? Like, it feels like you wouldn't be, but you have the same... Like, build and personality. And I guess, like, Shika do live... A long time, so... Maybe the reason you were so slow in Breath of the Wild is because that was a hundred years in the future. I'll obliterate you with my next move! A secret technique taught to by my father's mother's father! Oh, he has Shadow Clone. I forget if he did that or not. In Breath of the Wild. How about I just do this? You stand a chance. Goodbye. You definitely seem to have more <laughs> moves than you did. Get bombed. Oh, hey, I think that was actually his secret move. With the big ball. He just rode it this time. He's even weaponizing his belly. Oh, but do Be still. How I break out of that and, and say no. But you actually stunned me. You're actually a threat in this universe. I like that one of his special moves is trying to eat a banana. these losers defeat me <laughs> ah this is a double blade master he uses two blades ooh he even has a cut mask master Koga. Suga, you're late I nearly got peeled like a banana Whoa. just picks him up Right hand of the inverted eye, Suga. Forget these cowards. It's time to retreat. I think not. Badass voice. <laughs> Very neat. We got a mop. The ultimate weapon. Got lots of materials. Especially the... The bananas. We got 35 of them. Desert Vaux Spalder. Okay, that's kind of cute. It's almost like... Like, thank you for helping save Gerudo Town for that imposter. Here, have male clothes. Which, from the Gerudo, has got to be, like, top-tier, like, gift. Armor for males sold on rare occasions by Gerudo retailers. It contains sapphire, which harnesses the power of the ice to dampen the effects of extreme heat. And the Noble Pursuit. The Noble Canteen's most famous drink, or an ice-tropical juice mixture that does it justice. <laughs> Damage plus 7%.
Ah, there's Van the Boris. Thank you for meeting me here. The town is a bit, uh, chaotic, shall we say. Of course, Agosa. We'd meet you anywhere. You know about the Yiga clan, I trust. We just waged war on them. <laughs> Sheikah traitors working in the shadows to revive Calamity Gan. <sighs> Those lowlifes have been wreaking havoc here in Gerudo Canyon. How long can we stand by and watch them get away with it? Like, what kind of havoc? We only have one town here. No Maybe they're just I say. attacking the roads. I will pilot this divine beast. You are precious to me, and you need my help. I cannot refuse. Herbosa is just you. nice. Herbosa. As princess of Hyrule, I too will carry out my sworn duty. Little bird. Oh. However I am able to support you, I will. Just say the word. Also, how did Link survive out here in that armor? Fighting through the desert, adrenaline must have kept him going. Or again, maybe they're just like, ah, oh, we have the princess with us. We can just buy all of the elixirs. So, you turned and fled. Is that it? Well, if they hadn't interrupted me. It seems that, as low as my expectations of you were, I was overly optimistic. How what? dare you? Koga is neat. He has bananas. Well, no matter. Why do you have like a... What even My is that? Harbinger. Show me the future. <laughs> so it's literally like a, a crystal ball for malice. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. The, the Yiga put a platter of bananas in front of their harbinger of calamity. The future, as it will and must be, I will not allow anyone to alter its course. <laughs> they worships the bananas of power. They're like Donkey Kong. Urbosa, Gerudo Tempest, the chief of the Gerudo who possesses the power to command lightning itself. She was close friends with the late Queen of Hyrule. Now she is entrusted with piloting Divine Beast Va Naboris. That probably unlocks a decent amount of extra things because all of the main quests for that section were done. Oh, it's just we need lots of money. Urbosa's desert training. Urbosa plans to embark on a grueling form of training, doing battle with Electric Lizolfos outside Gerudo Town. Give her something to help stave off the heat of that blazing desert sun. I will put this strength to good use. Primed to withstand the stor uh, the starching, the scorching heat. Urbosa easily mowed down one electric Lizolfos after another. She returned from this intensive training with a new move under her belt. Some Gerudo Vi who are passionate about research plan to perform an experiment with lightning. It seems they want to discover new applications for the electrical energy. The experiment ended in failure, not to mention a painful shock for all involved. Rather than being dismayed, however, the researchers shared a hearty laugh. Even Urbosa had a smile on her face. And Urbosa's training. 
against her own people instead of Electric Lizalfos. Let's beat him up. You know, it's been so long since I played this, I genuinely forget how the evil, like, mini Guardian even exists. Like, is it from the canon timeline? Because I just, I completely forget. Because obviously this is altered since the slate is function. Well, no, because the slate was functioning in the main one. They took pictures in the main timeline. But that seems to be all they did with the slate is use it to take pictures. Get ready to be obliterated. Ah, a lot of them. And now, haha! <laughs> Take this! For daring to hit me. It's illegal. Flurry <laughs> rush time. I win. Goodbye. I wonder what would have happened if I defeated, like, all the captains before. Oh yeah, we never did this. Jesus. Utterly horrifying. I think that'll be enough money for the opening of that one stable, I believe. Since they need a thousand rupees, like other mad people. I wonder why the marker came over here. It's like, you wanna do it over here? No, I wanna open a stable. By spending a thousand five hundred rupees. Wanted, shop assistant. Some parents are worried for their daughter who took over their shop. She needs an assistant to help with tasks that can sink a shop if left unhandled. For that, she'll need money and Bacoblin trophies. With the money you brought, the shop owner hired some help, and her parents were glad to see their daughter turn the shop around. Stop by to buy things any time. And they just sell. No wonder they needed 1,500 rupees. They have just all the stuff. All the stuff in the world. <laughs> and still reading chat? Yep, still reading chat. Always, always. Except when during like actual missions, because kind of hard to read while slaughtering thousands of enemies. Because <laughs> I already have to like pay attention to the corner, like dialogue that they throw at me sometimes, like dialogue jump scare. Who's shocked by lightning? Someone has told you how he survives life in a village plagued by lightning. He eats a dish that keeps him from being shocked. Bring him the ingredient, and then he'll tell you how to make it. Bring him a single mushroom. Bravo. You were served a mushroom skewer grilled to perfection. The aroma alone was worth it, and eating it will keep you from going numb when zapped. You have learned this useful recipe. I guess pretty helpful, since it cuts down 50%. Both a bonus combo and a hat, apparently. An innkeeper was quite proud of her new all-metal establishment. 
until she was reminded about the region's frequent thunderstorms. Help her add some electricity resistant insulation. And get a hat. <laughs> I will put this strength to good use. Its walls lined with lightning proof materials, the inn finally opened for business. Now rain or shine, the innkeeper could rest easy, as could her lodgers, of course. <laughs> Rubber helm. A helmet made from ancient techniques. It's crafted from something called rubber, a material that can no longer be found. Two-handed weapon bonus combo. We haven't used one yet. Spear bonus combo. One-handed bonus combo. To refine his sword technique, Link has been instructed to train in Hyrule Field by... Cutting grass. He'll have to collect proof of some kind to show that he's completed the assignment. Not all the blades of grass just <laughs> gather him up, throw him at the person demanding this of him. <laughs> fish helm. It does look mm. like just a fish is swallowing your head, the rubber helm. After training, realized, Link realized he could swing his sword more swiftly, giving foes less chance to strike. He really did learn something from cutting grass. The people of Zora's Domain would like to present a heartfelt offering to the goddess statue watching over them. Pick some fruit to leave at the statue along with the villager's tribute. Here, statue, we killed a bunch of monsters. When you and the villagers of Zora's Domain offered up the fruit to the goddess statue, the water nearby sparkled as if to express her gratitude. Anti-lightning training. Ah, something for Zelda. Guests from across the land have been invited to Central Hyrule for a grand banquet to strengthen their bonds. Prepare delicacies from each region to entertain the visitors' taste buds. It seems I've grown the chefs of Central Hyrule eagerly sharpen their knives, itching to experiment with the new ingredients. There was little doubt that a delightful meal awaited the banquet attendees. Like, I really, really like the, like, slight world building with all of these. Just like, as the calamity is happening, there's still stuff going on. I just, I, I like that. It's neat. Ah, spear training. Restricted allies, spears only, and time limited. I don't know if I have any spears. I think all I have is mop. <laughs> we'll mop up the competition. From YouTube chat, I love your avatar, it's really cute. Ah, uh, thank you! I do like how it came out even after all this time. And hey, Neon, have you noticed any details about the Gerudo and Breath of the Wild era? Their ear shapes. I don't think I have. Yeah, we'll quickly equip that. Then come out here, because we can... I guess they are kind of more Hylian. To a degree, they're, they're kind of pointed. Well, let me see. Yeah. They're slightly more pointed, it seems like. Which could be very interesting. Then again, for some reason, my brain makes me want to think that even in Ocarina of Time, they kind of had pointed ears. But I don't think, like, Ganondorf ever had pointed ears, so I'm probably wrong on that. Let's mop up the competition. Huh, interesting that Urbosa's at the back. Because we have Mifa, then Daruk, then Ravali, then Urbosa. I wonder if she's there to threaten him with lightning. To play nice. How dare you spit at me? Luckily, I have a mop. Get out of here. 
disgusting freaks. I can't even just... I summon a... Didn't even expect that. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just pressing buttons and killing things. Quit spitting at me as projectiles. Illegal. 500 years in the dungeon. I just stab air at you. I have to get up real close so I can stab you. I almost broke it. Bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. But I never noticed in Breath of the Wild just how hideous their teeth are. The whiz robes. Why do they have giant fucking chompers? Beg on, monsters. The power of mop compels you. I guess I could do this and wipe out this whole slew of monsters. I can't even tell what's going on. There's so many. But there is a line of monsters to kill. There are so many that my basic rush... <laughs> attack is killing them. Like, Spear is actually really satisfying to use. How about no? Stupid Moblin, you make me look bad by surviving with one HP. Now die by stab. Run away! Flee! And now all those Lizalfos will fear brooms and mops for the rest of their lives. Link cannot carry more weapons. Well, we obviously want to keep that for fusion material XP. Let's see. Enemy is in midair. I don't really do that all that much. That's actually a really good one. So I might keep that. Da, 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 da. For a moment I looked at that and I almost thought that said 1,500. I would have been like, wait, what? how is that legal? Illegal weapon emblems. They have to exist. Da 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 da. And now it wants me to do this one. Uh, Two-handed training against Daruk. Ba 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 ba. ba. Yeah, so I can lock certain weapons. Da, 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 da. I guess the only two-handed weapon I have is axe and then a cobbler. Guess we'll beat up some people. Okay, yeah, I see. I'm learning the like little emblems up there. Sword and shield, just sword. Ah, Traveler's Claymore, the ultimate of ultimate. From you to chat, so you know how the classic Zelda titles like Country Time uh, remember this detail. Classic Gerudos have round shaped ears in that era, like ordinary human, but in Breath of the Wild, their ears changed. Which is very interesting. 
Because like I said, I know that Ganondorf has round ears, but for some reason, Brain was trying to gaslight me into thinking that Ocarina of Time Gerudo, like ladies, still had like uh, pointed ears, and I do not know why. I guess it could also, like, stand in for, like, maybe their better relationship with Hyrule, considering that, like, in Ocarina of Time era, the Gerudo were, like, bandits and were kind of looked down on, especially considering that Ganondorf kind of, like, or, like, Ganondorf is doing dastardly deeds in that timeline. The things are like definitely not going good for him. You know, I never did like the special action with the spear. But can kind of combo extend. You're not ready to fight. I'm ready to fight. Get obliterated. How dare you strike at me with a sword and shield, no less. Copyright infringement. Death for a thousand years. Glory rush time. Oh, that's how I do it. I can just hold down the special, or like the heavy attack. And that'll heal me from my heavy combos. Nom nom nom. Now there's one more, like, Big dot, let's go meet him. Now that this is fence, we have to go around. How dare you make me inter interrupt my eating? How would I just do this to you? Get out of here. Get smacked. wonder like uh, how many times Link officially had like round ears or if ever if he's just always had pointed ears he's always been a pure Hylian or if it's ever he's ever been drawn with different kind of ear or even if even if just by accident some artist unfamiliar with Link just like oh yeah I can draw a guy didn't pay attention to the ears. That'd be interesting. Which reminds me, isn't there supposed to be like a live action Zelda movie still in production? I haven't heard anything about that in ages. I don't really care about it too, too much. It was just like, for me, I'm just like, just make it be 
animated. Animated is good. I don't people want more animated, like, stuff based on video games. <laughs> Goodbye, Daruk. I utterly annihilated you. <laughs> I win the day. I am the winner! <laughs> da 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 Still love the music in this game. Earn recipe for zesty meat skewer. A merchant has a bad cold, runny nose, and bad chills, but refuses to get any rest. Come up with a new recipe that will warm him up from the inside, and then cook it for him. You we must well. save him from himself. You came up with a recipe on the fly that warms a person to the bones. The merchant felt better after he ate it, and you got a new recipe in the process. And then one-handed weapon training. Hair width trial beginner. One hit failure, that's interesting. The breach of demise. Ooh. Let's see. Oh. Guess we should probably grab these before we go. Link wants to practice at the Spear Training Ground, but the instructor won't let him in. It looks like he'll have to prove himself by defeating a multitude of spear-wielding monsters. I killed the spear people. Mm. Now teach me how to be spear people. With a grin, the instructor informed Link that beating the Lazulfos was actually his first lesson. It seems Link's spear training is off to a good start. In preparation for the calamity, the youths of Hatino Village have branded together to defend their town. Link ought to bring them a little something to show his support. <sighs> the Hatino Defense Squad loved the gifts Link brought them. Seeing them take initiative inspired him to put even more effort into his own training. Upgrade the bird's bow. Now oh, we just immediately get a... Well, we don't really have many other things, so we probably should save that. Since you can get a basically a free emblem. Special attack charge, regular attack damage. That might be nice. Mid-air attack damage. Don't really throw enemies into the air all that much. So I guess we're going regular attack. Strong attack damage plus two. Maybe. Oh, but that gets bonus attack speed and since they share like the same shape. Hmm. But at the same time.
Ooh, but damage per 100 KOs. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Damage per 100 KOs plus 2%. I think that's gonna stack up really good. Da da da. Ba ba da da da. Da da da. Just clear his inventory a slight bit. And now let's go breach demise. But instead of Link. You have a lot to look for. Let's take him out with Rivali because Rivali is the boy. Let's earn that money. Powerful foes have weak points. You can use wall jumps. We have wall jumps in this game. Huh. Didn't even know. Take them all out. It's, my time. it's always my time. How about bombs for you? Be gone. I'm looking at chat now, I think. I wonder how many, like, Legend of Zelda theories there have been over the years. Ones that, like... Existed a long time ago, but might not make much sense now. Ones that, like, were created a long time ago and still could be plausible even to this day. Because there's got to be plenty out there. Get another victory. I just want to make sure there was nothing down here. Plus, the longer that, like, the games go on, the timeline gets more screwy, the more kinds of theories that can just pop out. Get obliterated, Moblin. Get bombed. Get another All flames. I don't even have to get close to you. Just take you out before you flame me. Take this. Bomb time. Get another. Still and die. <laughs> to oblivion with you. I win. My win. See. 
try and get some characters closer than they were. Maintaining my army is going to cost so much money. And there's anti-lightning training too. Now let's try this one. It'll be quick, probably. Shocking. Hitting water or metallic object with electrified attacks causes a powerful discharge. Yeah, we did see that in the... Like Urbosa training. Have to be careful because I think some of them will be like, ah, we're gonna throw things at you. Yeah, you're not throwing things at me. If I remember correctly, we technically get two hits. But still. Cease your existence. <laughs> I win. My win. Got whole birds from it. And let's see. There's bonus hearts. I guess we'll go on. <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. I guess the name is spoilerific. Let's see. Who shall go in as well? I guess Impa wouldn't be bad to go in. Impa's pretty fun to play as. And then Ravali at front because Ravali is the boy. With that, the four divine beasts were assembled with their pilots. Training began in earnest, and the plan to defeat Hyrule's enemies began to coalesce. Zelda continued her work, calibrating the divine beasts and researching ancient relics. Much to her frustration, however, her sealing power remained dormant. Her sealing power remained sealed. Ah, cutscene time. <laughs> Ravioli and the gang going to save Hyrule. Word of praise. Well, it's only natural that father would be frustrated. Ravioli, the yes. ultimate savior of Hyrule. Right now, we must do whatever is in our power. Please inform Mifa and Daruk that we depart tomorrow morning. Then you plan to go to the Divine Beasts? Understood. The leg guy always there. The ultimate friend Zelda needed. Technology. Father thinks that... Well, he thinks that the reason my ability hasn't awakened is because I haven't worked hard enough. <laughs> she has her emotional Until support he egg. Divine beasts. He'll say as much.
Link, now you know my insecurities. Earlier than in canon. To a degree, I think. The adjustments to the Divine Beasts are not yet complete. We must fine-tune them for the individual pilots to ensure that they will be as effective as possible. So many of their parts are complex. We don't have enough time to do Daruk, I have a request. Might I join you for training next time? Hell yeah. I would like to be fully prepared. Learning new Fish ways power to and rock power together. Some good. Of course. The more the merrier. <sighs> Thing is, we still need a night gritty enough to see all the darkness, and they're nowhere to be found. Uh, Which is yes. extra funny because I think in canon, Although, hey, Link had the sword of sealing darkness by the time uh -huh. they visited Zora's domain <laughs> in the original timeline. <laughs> Which was the first time Mifa met Link since Do he was a kid. Want... <laughs> Murder? Your Highness, I bring news. Regard your impending death. Well, that's dramatic. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't think I. Uh, oh, no, because this might just be a cutscene, but I don't think I equipped a good weapon as Link. All my weapon swapping. I think I still have the two handed sword uh, instead of my Sheikah blade. I am a fool. Remember the princess is our target. I didn't read it fast enough because I was too busy fighting. You can just sit back and watch. I'll make quick work of our foes. Oh neat, we actually have like uh, some Gerudo with us. Oh, there's just a chest here. Guess I have to actually come up to it and open it. Okay, never mind. It gave me diamonds. Understandable. Have a good day. Everyone, please be careful. Let's see. Where should we actually send... Go that way while... Be still. You stop. Didn't expect things to get so rough this quickly. You may be right, Duke. Though training is not my main concern right now. Is how did the Shika or the Yiga get in here in such droves? At least in Gerudo Desert, it kind of makes sense their base is there. Because yeah, I thought that there was going to be a Yiga man up here. I like how the characters like call out to the others. Explode. Explode. Hey, that blade master will come to murder you. I want. I'm not gonna prepare to die. You're the one that's gonna prepare to die. Explode. We can't defend the gates! Hate to say it, but there's not much we can do. Because right now... Oops, not what I exactly meant. Go ahead and use 
resistance I have it. What the hell kind of outfit is Link wearing now? He's wearing the... Like, uh... Vo the... Yeah, the... Gerudo Vo outfit we unlocked. Along with the Zora Helm. And then... The Rito Pants. He's truly showing... Like... The... All the races of Hyrule coming together. Steal yourself. I am ready. Be destroyed, Moblin. Is like, like these hologram things like seem technology like, but that actually be a funny like twist in a way if the Sheikah never gave up on technology and they just said they did to placate the the Hylians. Get bombed. Get obliterated. Take out all the enemies. How about I bomb you? Fun thing. I'll just do this. Oh, no, I can't. I'll just bomb you again. And then obliterate you. I almost, almost, almost broke all of your... Your stuff. Get out of here. Here to clear out this area. Ravali Ravioli is capable of utter annihilation of the enemies. Yeah, come to think of it, it is kind of funny that they allow you to customize Link's appearance. I would have really, really, really liked it if you could customize like each of the champions at least appearances just slightly. Like maybe make costumes for them. But I think, but at the very least. In Breath of the Wild tradition, we can dress up Link however which way we want. Hello, Blue Moblin. I blow you up now. You stand a chance. Be still. You're finished. Try it. Be gone. Blow up. In hell. Get another victory. Just clear out these guys. And then I guess send them that way. Understood. <laughs> Get bombed. It's kind of neat. It makes the fireworks sound effect. Aha! Gotcha! One of my favorite things with these type of crossover games is characters calling out other characters' names when you swap to them. I just really like it. And uh, 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 no sniping. Sniper, no sniping. Mm -hmm. 
big yawn. What? The enemies are in the garrison. We must hurry. Say goodbye. I'll just take you out. You stand a chance. Be still. And I'll probably kill you. Sure. We're saved. Now we can help the princess too. Too easy. Stay up. All right, you continue on that path. And then I'll have his be over that way. So if I ever swap off, then we can go. Oh, they're coming at us everywhere at once! Yes, but by spreading out across the battlefield, we can turn the tide in our favor. Darn camera. This little pathway is destroying me. You're unstoppable. I would have expected anything less than the great Ravali. by accident. I'll just take these outposts quickly. Be still. Ah, perfect. Get out of here. Stay down. I'm gonna send you over there. Dare you kick me? Illegal. Stasis, I stab you. I stab you lots. Finish. Interesting that Urbos is here, but she's not saying anything. I guess technically the canonical choices would have been like, uh. like Urbosa and uh, Rivali, maybe? Since Daruk and Mipha are already here in the story. Double sleeves. Excuse me. The sneeze demanded that I fail. Great, it's time to turn the tables. We should strike from the eastern and western outposts. The pincer attack will do, should do the trick. It does feel like these this outpost is taking a while to kill. So at least to me it seems like the way to play Impa is 
slowly build up your runes. So that you can, like, have your, like, clones out as much as possible. Steal yourself. I am ready. Time for explosions. Gone, blue moblin. You're being just utterly destroyed by everybody around you. Granted the fact that they're like two champions annihilating you at once, and you're just not even reacting. It's kind of scary. Oh yeah. Time to be obliterated. Foolish fool. Ah, flurry rush time. Dang it. I get one flurry rush and the game's like, ah, that's it. You've had enough. Enough flurry rushes out of you. Huh. Impos finally hit something. Ah, let's just blow up. Kaboom. We destroyed the enemy treehouse. Well, apparently there was something big back there. Oh, I was wondering why there was just a bunch of Hylians. Hyrulians. Hanging out here. Dang it, I missed the one. How about I destroy you? Get blasted with lasers. Get blasted with lasers. Dang it. I like dodged into it. Hey, what's up all the hubbub? Unbelievable. Looks like they got confused and ran out. Now we can take their stronghold. I don't think there's a stronghold there. I think it's just empty. I think it's another trap. Give me all your rune power. The power of runes is mine. Oh, they laid a trap here. It's a Hinox. Right now he's gonna be an angry boy. What? Ow. With all my clones, I shall blow you up. I am ready. It's time. Time, time. Gotta maximize the destruction. The real question is, how did the he the Yiga put a Henox here? I'll blast you away with the power of wind. The 
Get out of here. I would call that a success. Yeah. I would call that a success. Now that that's over with, where's the Yiga leader? Probably back. More in this area, I'll just start going. Like, it's either here or there. Fire! Scattered across the town! They're burning Castle Town! <laughs> yeah, I don't have my normal sword, so this is gonna be bad. <laughs> Oh, I can't even control them. At least Link is with the princess. He'll keep her safe. Will he, though? And at least she has the slate with her. so buff. Take this! Take this! Oh, he has a counter, it looks like. How about you, Parrish? mean. He hit me. Bomb time. Bomb. Bomb. Get bombed, idiot. Why do I feel like this isn't even uh, Suga's final form? Thank you for coming to help me. Random Hylian guard. over and over in this corner, Suga. What a blunder. Zelda, where are you? Dangers all abound. He's chasing Suga away. I don't I feel like those flips were unnecessary. But he is a dramatic little man, so maybe they were necessary. Distractions. Shuriken go! Egg! For the safety! <laughs> and Link saved the egg. So the egg's like, you ruined my big moment. <laughs> I suppose destiny is at work then. The future is... Fixed. Are you sure it's not a skill issue? Yeager clan, time to go. We had some fun. Time to leave. Link! Um, uh... Yes? He <laughs> just kicked the shuriken out of the way. It's, it's talk, <laughs> talking shit. I like the addition of the egg. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
the egg is kind of helping in Zelda and Link's relationship because she's able to see him be less stoic and like more personable. It's able to be kind of like a confidant and just a nice little thing for Zelda. Oh, we got the Silent Princess. Oh, and two things. Movement speed and start battle with plus one health. Very nice. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. <laughs> He's angry at Link for being the hero. <laughs> Egg aggressively beppin' at Link. Exactly. Ooh, lots of new things getting added. Lots of new things getting added. Of course, we're gonna grab bonus combo for Ravali. A fly-by-night operation. After much clamoring from warriors who use the flight range, Ravali has agreed to add a night course. Find some glow-in-the-dark stuff that could be applied to the targets. <laughs> the flight range targets, nice. coated with paint derived from luminous stones, glowed brightly in the night. Staff soon had a flurry of applications coming in for the new night course. Ooh, more mid-air regular attacks. A young girl from Rito Village wants to make a flowery garland for the local goddess statue, but she can't find the type of bloom she needs. Mm. The Rito girl's face lit up when she saw the rare flower Link had brought her. Even the goddess statue seemed to have a faint smile dancing on her lips. Also reminds me. Give me my proper weapon. Ah, uh, Impa training. <laughs> Teach a Hylian to fish. Every day at the Spear Training Ground begins with fishing. It's not just to make breakfast. In fact, spear fishing is great practice. Catch the specified fish and deliver them to the instructor. Hey. Link delivered the specified fish to the instructor, marking a big step forward in his training. Plus, the instructor threw the fish into a cooking pot and made a delicious meal for everyone. So I'm missing a few things for increased hearts for all characters. Well, that'd be good. I think I'll put that on just because I can. Ooh, we get a first-time clear diamond for Zelda training. Whoop, we can unlock help them on their way. Merchant arrives. Some travelers have rented a stable on their way to Lost Woods. They plan to leave the stable as soon as they're equipped for the journey. Find what they still need. Bravo. Equipped for their journey, the travelers head off for the Lost Woods. Ending their long stay at the stable, that means the stable is now open for anyone who wants to use it. And it's empty, so not for me. Bonus heart for Daruk. An irresistible aroma. The Goron warriors, feeling weary from long days of training, are hankering for some tasty rock roast cooked to a nice golden brown. Why not help them out with some fire-starting supplies? <laughs> the irresistible aroma of prime rock roast attracted many hungry Gorons, and the well-cooked meal was polished off in the blink of an eye. No longer fatigued, they could now fight at will. Pilot of Divine Beast Varudanya. Neat, let's go. Let's beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. <laughs> Prime Rock Roast. Gotta keep it away from Link, he'll, he'll eat them all. Somehow... Somehow Link will just devour rocks that are basically mild lava. Hmm. 
Okay, let's get this party started. We just gotta annihilate all of the foes. Time to run wild, Varudanya. Good as a, if I can figure out how to work you. Okay, I think I've got the hang of controlling this divine beast now. Oh yeah, plenty more where that came from. Get out of here. Seeing all those tasty rocks everywhere is making my stomach rubble. After this, time for a feast! I love this music that's playing. Take them all out even if I can't even see. Evict the monsters from their home. Wait a minute, we're in, like, uh, Death Mountain. How are these guys actually throwing, like, uh, explosive barrels at me when those would explode upon just being in Death Valley, this death place of doom? The monsters are hacking. And that takes care of that. I'm really getting the hang of this. Booyah. I kind of find, like, uh, find it amusing if that would be like us teleporting to like a weird pocket dimension to pilot the Divine Beast. So that's kind of what like these non-main mission ones are kind of meant to be. Let's see, who should do the anti-lightning training? I think it would be funny if it was you. All right, Urbosa, go do some anti-lightning training. Charge up your lightning gauge by holding CR. Ah, so I don't even have to do it by doing combos. I keep forgetting characters have special interactions on the ZR button. I just keep forgetting. Get froze, an idiot. Take this. I dare you hit me. I dance around you by breaking the camera. Oh, 
<laughs> I didn't even mean to dodge you into Flurry Rush. That's how kind of a wall jump happens. Get frozen, idiot. Time for oblivion! Very rude. I swear. Very rude. Triple rude. Like, even if I could. If, even if my runes were up, like, I don't think they would have helped there. Urbosa's, like, ice rune is not good against, like, uh, just slapping up some moblins with spears, because the moblins are like, I'm going to charge at you, but then I summoned it behind them. <laughs> electric versus electric battle. Now that makes me wonder, like, what the, like, champions and other main characters of Age of Calamity would be if they were Pokemon. Urbosa, the angriest Pikachu. But you, you take so much of my my stuff, <laughs> so many. You need my sapphires, why? The volunteer army. The people of Hyrule are forming a volunteer army, and members of the Hatino Defense Squad are among the enlistees. Perhaps Link can help the young militia get off on the right foot by giving them all of my sapphires. Mm -hmm. Link was showered with thanks from his support of the volunteer army. Practicing two-handed weapon fighting with the energetic recruits, he felt their enthusiasm rubbing off on him. Mount Taran's Solitary Masters. Legend has it that an elusive pair of Spear Masters live up on Mount Taran. Link will have to take a stealthy approach if he wants to watch them train without being spotted. <sighs> to Link's surprise, the legendary Spear Masters of Mount Taran turn out to be Hinoxes! Still, watching them train together definitely improved his skills. How many people went there to be like, oh, I'm gonna watch the legendary Spear Masters, and then they were Hinoxes and they got killed? Time for Varuta piloting! Elephant time! Divine Beast Varuta, while in water, attacks that use ice will be stronger than they normally are. Gotta beat him up, gotta... <laughs> now my brain went, like, on the topic of, like, Pokemonified champions. Somebody in Mipha's family is totally being the, like, uh the shiny Gyarados. Quit shooting me with arrows. Rude. Take him out one by one. Stop shooting me. Sniping's illegal in 50 states. No matter the legions of foes standing before us, we stride forward. Fearlessly forward at that. Since I got it, might as well use it and charge up more. <laughs> Just 
just utterly destroying this place. There's so many of them. Where did they get all of these <laughs> Lionels? Cease your lightning. Cease lightning. The power of freezing compels you. I mean, what's a... Like a lava, like a fire guy doing here anyway? I got this, might as well use it. Name into the future. Now I am the sniper. There are only a few enemies left. We shall make short work of them. Like Jesus. I swear Mifa's killed more Lynos than Link ever has. I'm just glad I made it out through one piece. If she didn't, King Dorafan would have been very angry. And we killed 4,005. That's overachieving. They only wanted 4,000. training Impa's training or Zelda's training let's do one-handed training let's go beat him up they will regret training with Link for he is here to murder Link one-handed attacks hold down X after performing a strong attack to follow up with additional bros Hmm, so hold down. I'll have to try that. Because I think I've mostly been spamming it. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Very cool. Everyone charge! Prepare to uh, suffer for that. <laughs> Another captain? You will suffer for your existence. Got the spear company. <laughs> Say goodbye. Ah, uh, there you are. <laughs> Do not hold your positions, please. More soldiers up here, not captains. That's what I saw earlier. I was like wondering where the captain was. The captain comes after. Take them all out.
How dare you have bows among you? Highly illegal. Goodbye, Captain. <laughs> We're not going down that easy. You are, trust me. Half the time limit remains. I don't even think it's possible to beat this before that happens. Dude, just due to enemy spawning. Any other captains want to show themselves? Guess not. We knew you were good, but we didn't know you were that good. He is Link. He is a god among men. He now runs into the forest. He got the tree branch. The ultimate weapon. Mother Nature. Ba 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 ba. Hmm. Da, 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 da. But I guess that will be it for now. We did a decent bit on story. We met Koga, got Urbosa and Daruk on the team. And then next time we'll go to... What was it? The Hyrule Forest? It's the Spooky Forest. <laughs> Great Hyrule Forest. Freeing Korok Forest. It has all the names of different forests. It's all the forests in one. I really love this game. The characters, the music, the cutscenes, the story. I think that's one of the reasons why I really, really like it. Is because it focuses down on the story so much. I do really enjoy Breath of the Wild. But having the story be such a focus in this is just such a treat. As always, I'll probably do a few, like, uh, resource gathering in between streams, but will not do anything that I haven't done, like these missions, or, like, if I get the resources, I won't just unlock it. Anything that is new, I only do on stream for fun. <laughs> Thanks for the stream, and thank you for watching! But yes, but yes, thank you everybody for joining me tonight. If you want more from me... I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you want other things from me, I have a link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, linked in my various bios, descriptions, and link places of the various sites, with links to everything that I do. My edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, my streaming YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, and my streaming Twitch channel, Neon Icy Wings, depending on your streaming preference. With all of these streams being put up on the Neon Icy Games streaming YouTube channel for quality. Because sometimes like my, my internet might die and then I don't want to lose the recording, so I local record. <laughs> then I also have various art, similar to my little character in the corner and in screens. So I upload them to various social medias and art sites linked in my link tree. I also do some writing with links to the stories I write in my link tree. And finally, of course, is my Patreon, which is a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye. Bye.